I actually picked up this car about a year ago now. We went to view a Jaguar XK120 and we knew it was pretty bad from the photos but as soon as we got to the auction we looked at it, the engine was practically non-existent, there was rust on every single panel and it was real real beat up. It was it was horrendous. So we, we gave that one a miss and headed outside to the car park and sitting there was this beautiful grey Alfa Romeo and I instantly fell in love. It was stunning. And it was lot 267 in the auction. And we went back inside and lot 266 was on the rostrum. So we had about two minutes to look over the car, read through the catalogue, decide how much we were going to pay, raise our paddle. We got it. And two hours later the car was insured and we had it on the open road home. And that first drive back was, it was, it was magical. Hello, I'm Jim Rockwell. Our program is People in Jazz. Today our man in jazz is West Montgomery. Many years ago, about 1959, it was indeed in 1959, a dear old friend was About a fortnight after buying the car, a friend and I went over to a horse racing event in Paris and we left on the Saturday morning about 4am and it was 350 miles there, 350 miles back and she was faultless the whole way over there, the whole way back, 700 miles all in one go. This car is just incredible to drive, it sticks to the road and it's got plenty of power. It's such a solid car no matter what, it keeps on running, you can have some fun and beat it up a bit, but it still does great and starts up every day. I think I learned that having a plan doesn't always work out, sometimes you just got to fly by the seat of your pants. We turned up that day looking for an XK120, came home with the Alpha and frankly, I wouldn't change her for the world. I'm Giles Gunning and I drive a 1972 Alfa Romeo GT 1600 Junior.